Beneath the surface of the mysterious Amazonian waters, an ancient predator silently navigates the shadows, the Melanosuchus niger, better known as the Black Cayman. Join us as we plunge into the depths of this formidable reptile's world, exploring its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. The iconic, jet-black caiman glides stealthily through the murky rivers and lakes comprising the Amazon basin, the largest reptile apex predator in the New World tropics. As opportunistic hunters, black caimans play critical roles regulating aquatic food webs and nutrient transport in Amazonian floodplain environments. Their diverse diet impacts diverse fish, mollusks and crustaceans, while predation risk shapes behaviors of larger terrestrial species that visit watering holes. But overharvesting for skins decimated 20th-century populations until protective measures recovered their numbers. While no longer considered conservation-reliant, the black caiman still faces threats from ongoing habitat degradation. This documentary will trace how the cryptic black caiman has honed its ambush predatory strategy through over 8 million years inhabiting South America's waterways. Evolutionary History the ancient lineages of alligators and caimans diverged in the late Cretaceous period over 80 million years ago as Gondwanan continents broke apart, with alligators evolving in Laurasia and caimans remaining isolated in South America. After the extinction of large non-avian dinosaurs, these archosaurs came to dominate freshwater niches. The family Alligatoridae further split into two subfamilies, Alligatorini and Caimanini, approximately 60 to 70 million years ago, with the latter retaining shorter, broader snouts. The earliest definite fossils of Melanosuchus grade caimans date to around 8 million years ago during the Miocene in the Proto-Amazonian region. Prior to this, older Oligocene formations reveal other related caiman species that later Paleocaimans likely evolved from. Through the fluctuations of the Miocene, Proto-Melanosuchus diverged from its closest relatives, caiman and Paleosuchus lineages, via phyletic gradation as habitat and dietary niche partitioning occurred. By the Pliocene epoch, the genus Melanosuchus had emerged as a distinct, large-bodied lineage well adapted to exploit a diversity of prey in expanding wetland environments. When early humans first encountered black caimans during initial colonization of the Amazon 12,000 years ago, these ancient predators had already perfected formidable hunting techniques honed over millions of years of selective pressures and ecological adaptations to ensure their evolutionary success. Their dark coloration and secretive habits inspired fear and reverence among indigenous cultures that shared their habitat. The black caiman rivals large crocodilians worldwide in size and power. Adult lengths reach 4 to 5 m and weight over 500 kg, with historical accounts of 6 plus m giants. Their skin is roughened by osteoderm bony scales arranged in rows and ridges, offering body armor protection. Dark gray to black coloration provides camouflage when hunting nocturnally. Eyes and nostrils positioned atop the skull allow concealed viewing and breathing while submerged. Their most notable feature is an enormous double-hinged jaw capable of generating 3,000 psi of pressure, the strongest bite force of any predator in the Americas, powered by massive temporalis and pterygoid jaw muscles. Once prey is seized in fang jaws, it has no chance of escape. Long muscular tails propel through water when swimming. Webbed hind feet also aid swimming yet support walking on land. While mostly quadrupedal, young caimans may run bipedally. Hatchlings average 33 centimeters long with yellow and black striped patterning for camouflage that fades by two years old. Sexual dimorphism emerges after maturation, with adult males averaging 30% larger than females. Males also grow bony nuchal and dorsopalatal ridges on their skulls to impress rivals when defending breeding territories. Uniquely, this giant can lower its metabolism, slowing heart rate when temperatures drop in the dry season. Osteoderms may help retain heat while swimming and digging aquatic burrows during drier months. Sensory domes on jaws detect water vibrations from struggling prey. Virtually no other predator can match its perfect adaptations for an aquatic ambush lifestyle. Ecology. The habitat range of the black caiman centers around the Amazon basin of South America, spanning Brazil, Peru, Colombia, and the Guianas. As the third largest watershed on Earth, the flooded forests, rivers and channels within the Amazon drain the world's greatest river volume, influencing global climate regulation, carbon storage and biodiversity richness. Black caimans frequent slow-moving rivers, streams, pools and flooded forests across the Amazon, thriving even in blackwater habitats poor in nutrients yet rich in fish density. 
while the historic range spanned seven countries, hunting pressures and habitat disturbance have reduced their distribution by over 30% since the 1960s. Countrywide population estimates include Brazil, 250,000 to 400,000, Colombia, 15,000 to 40,000, Peru, 15,000 to 30,000, and the Guianas, 8,000 to 10,000. Due to seasonal migrations between wet and dry habitats, home ranges shift across 50-plus kilometers following water levels and prey movements. Black caimans are keystone predators that shape aquatic community structure through top-down trophic cascades. Their opportunistic predation regulates biomass of fish, crustaceans, and other reptiles. In turn caimans are preyed on rarely by large cats, revealing their high position in food webs. Their diet includes diverse vertebrate and invertebrate prey up to domestic livestock that visit water bodies. Mostly nocturnal ambush hunters, they eat around 30 pounds monthly. As ecosystem engineers, their nest mounds regulate plant zones and shifts channel hydrology. Habitat and Behavior Black caimans inhabit seasonal floodplain wetland ecosystems, adapting energy investment strategies around habitat shifts between rainy and dry periods across the annual cycle. During wet seasons males secure prime breeding territories then females migrate in to select superior mates. Most non-breeding seasons focus on foraging widely and excavating dry season refuges. Their niche as ambush predators revolves around concealing their presence until prey is within striking distance. The onset of rains expands aquatic foraging zones plus attracts breeding migrations where males compete aggressively for control of lakeside nesting areas near female convergence zones. Largest, healthiest males asserting dominance secure mating access by patrolling perimeter boundaries while advertising themselves through bellowing calls. From August into November, females build sizable nest mounds from vegetation along lake margins then lay 25 to 60 eggs before moving off. Male parental investment continues as incubators guarding nests until January-March hatching. Carrying hatchlings gently within jaws, they escort small caimans into water until large enough to survive independently. Young stay vulnerable to other predators their first two years until reaching one meter long. These nesting congregations dissipate towards drier months. As waters recede forcing prey into shrinking pools, caimans switch to metabolizing stored fats while focusing energy on excavating burrows for dry season dormancy. Burrows averaging two meters long and one meter deep offer secure refuge when resources decline. During drought months, their metabolism slows allowing survival up to six months without eating until the next rainy phase returns. Their leather skins also retard water loss. When active, black caimans float with just eyes and nostrils exposed, stealthily tracking fish and mammals approaching water edges by smell and motion. Tail lashes and explosive lunging jaws strike prey within fractions of a second. Spinning with prey held tight neutralizes escape attempts before lifting meal out of water for consumption. For large kills, their backwards-facing cleaved teeth prevent food escaping while their unique jaw anatomy allows simultaneous breathing throughout feeding underwater. Conclusion. Iconic Amazonian apex predators for millennia, black caiman survival today illustrates broader patterns of tropical habitat destruction that our species has initiated, threatening biodiversity integrity across Earth's richest ecosystems. Hunting pressure plus accelerating land use changes reduce populations and accessibility to critical prey resources for this cryptic giant. Classified as lower risk slash conservation dependent by IUCN assessments, Coordinated harvest limits and protected habitats have stabilized numbers short-term yet long-term population viability depends on maintaining connectivity between essential wet and dry seasonal niches across their range. While still locally abundant, estimates of 30% habitat loss risks future reductions without conservation policy balancing development with sustainability. Hope remains as indigenous reserves provide refuge from hunting alongside government and NGO recovery programs educating locals not to persecute black caimans due to outdated assumptions. Ecotourism also offers alternatives to poaching, with sustainable revenues generated by showcasing these extraordinary predators when abundance allows limited environmental disturbance. Ultimately by securing wilderness strongholds for endangered apex hunters like the black caiman, Amazonian biodiversity as a whole benefits via critical food web integrity flowing down from the very top.